Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look back to another long awaited title for me, as this was my first time taking a crack at this Take Two backwards compatible review of Final Fantasy VII Remake on the PlayStation 5. The main reason why I went and bought the very first Sony PlayStation was because of Final Fantasy VII. Once a Nintendo exclusive publisher for the Final Fantasy series, Square saw that more data and memory was the wave of the future over the faster but also more expensive cartridge-based games. This was very apparent when the console wars with the N64 and Sony's PlayStation began. Needless to say, Sony won and the players all over the world got to play Final Fantasy VII, one of the most ambitious RPGs at the time. Fast forwarding to more than 20 years in the making, Square Enix decided to bring back the game in a totally new way and retelling the story of saving the planet from Sephiroth and getting revenge for Aerith. Final Fantasy VII Remake was developed and released by Square Enix for the PlayStation 4 in 2020 and an upgraded release in 2021 for the PlayStation 5. We will be taking a first glimpse at the PlayStation 5 upgrade from the PlayStation 4 physical disc. Sorry to the free owners from PlayStation Plus, but the game will not offer an upgrade for that version. Playing this game decades later, the game can only be compared to storytelling, character development, and pacing to the original. Everything else has changed dramatically. Is it for the better? I would like to say yes and no. The gameplay itself is drastically different as there isn't a turn-based feeling of action. The game is a fast-paced action RPG that will play similar to the Tale series from Bandai Namco and a hint of Dragon Age Inquisition. The mix keeps the game more modern and keeps the battles more intriguing at all times as you switch characters from time to time to access their other abilities that will help in the battle. It's on you. I got you. Now's our chance. Let's finish. It's over. Give him your all. That's that. The stagger system is back, most notable from other Final Fantasy titles, where enemies will become staggered or weakened by certain abilities and magic that will give the party an advantage in hurting the enemy more once in that state. The battles are fast and frantic, but also extremely fun to play once you get the hang of switching between players, in effect making the fights, combos between characters a marvel to see. Battles will last under a minute to even less than 30 seconds at times, leaving the boss fights much longer in the 10 to 15 plus range, depending on your strategy and finding weak points. The visuals are where the most dramatic differences are, and they are gorgeous. Even with the Unreal Engine on the PS4, was an absolute masterpiece, now on a more advanced hardware making them much better, more atmospheric fog, better streaming and higher resolution textures thanks to the super fast SSD, and of course, true 4K resolution and much better performance. It's amazing. 
The PS4 was no slouch at 30 frames per second, but with the PS5 and its super fast SSD, you have the option for silky smooth 60 frames per second and a lower 1500p to 4K with 30 frames per second. With all the textures loaded in instantly, that is vastly improved over the PS4 slow textures popping. I would select 60 frames per second as the only downgrade is sacrificing a still crisp resolution in my book. The story and pacing has become my only issue with the game. Wanting to add more to the overall game, the game now adds side missions that Cloud undertakes to get his reputation up and more likable around town, and giving the game an open world feeling. I felt, although a nice addition, I didn't like where it was a bit forced in the game where I couldn't advance the story more. It just takes you out of the game at times. I'm looking for cats. They're friendly, so if you call them, they'll come running. All three of them. By my friends, please. Sorry, Although the pacing did sorry. get me trying to Maybe fast forward the story, the story so and character development is much more expanded on, more than ever before, making the game a part one again. of the full story. Again, it does feel like a romantic drama at times, but I did enjoy the developers really pushing the characters and the story much further where you care much more for the side characters. Thanks for stepping up, Merc. <laughs> and now, for the cherry on top. Oh. Okay, I get it. Mind letting me breathe? Depends. Mind coming over tomorrow night? My roommates should all be out for a while. Are you seriously that desperate? Just let go already. Only if you promise to come back tomorrow night. Deal? You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. Hmm... What? Thought you didn't like lying. <sighs> well, anyway... Another downside in expanding a small portion of the original into a bigger and longer game was adding too many insignificant tasks throughout the game. This does add up sometimes into the story and character development, but will also frustrate when the missions trying to get from point A to point B with so many tasks in between just to get there. These portions of the game does make the game longer, but much more frustrating to get through making these times a chore rather than exploring at a fun pace. Just so you know, it's not going to get any easier. <laughs> When did it ever? The overall presentation still gives me the wow factor, even with some of the pacing a bit out of place. Final Fantasy VII Remake for the PS5 gets an 8.0 out of 10 for its wonderful new look at a game I treasured and will always treasure. The story remains the main reason why you play this game with Titanic Battles. That is still a wonder to behold once you get really going. Some players will be upset as it does seem to stretch out some of the areas of the story way too long that leaves them just bored trying to get to the next scene. Playing this one on the PS5 truly makes a difference. Just know what you're jumping into, which is a story heavy drama with fantastic presentation. That's it for this remake. Look and take two look at one of my favorite RPGs of all time, Final Fantasy VII Remake on the PlayStation 5. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Come on, let's push it past the red line! Jesse, take over. Huh? <laughs> 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 well, well, well. I do believe this round is yours. Damn. Keep, keep. Who cares? Why she's inclined to the who's who here? Freestyle, so free the style. Eat me, lean over the on a mile. Really be less of a candy. Less of a dandy. School guy, AA's like when it was Randy. Eat with the toys like I'm liking the Andy. Still got no brand.